Let's begin with the big news out of Washington, where William Barr, Attorney General and corporate Samwise Gamgee, was a no-show <laughs> for his own hearing. A no-show, Attorney General William Barr leaves a House committee hanging when it comes to answering questions about the Mueller report. Democrats inch closer to a vote to hold Attorney General William Barr in contempt of Congress. The House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler opened the morning by scolding the empty chair that was for the Attorney General. At least one Democrat chose to use a bucket of chicken to illustrate his opinion of Barr's no-show. Wow. Wow. This congressman brought a bucket of fried chicken to a hearing? And by the way, if you're looking at the black dude right now, you're racist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because the white guy brought the chicken. That's who brought it. Yeah. That's Steve Cohen, Memphis congressman and guy with somehow too much hair and not enough hair at the same time. <laughs> Apparently, he brought that bucket of KFC to imply that the attorney general was chicken for not showing up. I mean, at least that's what we assume. It could have just been his breakfast. <laughs> and someone was like, oh, is that KFC some kind of political statement? And he was like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, 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 that's, that's what it is. <laughs> and the drink is because we need to shake things up. <laughs> so, uh, look, this was clearly a stunt, right? Because a bucket of fried chicken isn't gonna get Bill Barr to come and testify. But... It will get Donald Trump to come and see Congress. <laughs> yeah. He saw that KFC bucket and was like, fuel up, Air Force One. We're going to Congress. <laughs> like, sir, it's only eight blocks away. You know what? You're right. We'll take the chopper. <laughs> In other news, the crisis on America's southern border shows no signs of letting up. And there's so many people coming in with children that the Department of Homeland Security can't keep up, which is why they've devised a new plan. The Homeland Security Department will soon be giving some migrants DNA tests when they arrive at the border. The pilot program could begin as early as next week, and officials say it's aimed at stopping migrants from falsely claiming to be parents of children who are not theirs. This proposed rapid DNA test will involve a cheek swab. Then in about two hours, results will show whether an adult and a child are actually related. That's right, Border Patrol is taking a page from Maury Povich and DNA testing all families who are seeking asylum at the border. Now, the Trump administration claims this is to prevent human trafficking. Critics say the plan is invasive and it's just to dissuade people from coming over. All I know is this is bound to create a lot of awkwardness at the border. Yeah, because a family's gonna show up after trekking through the desert and the agent will be like, we need to make sure that this is your family. And the dad will be like, of course, this is my family. You can test all of us, isn't that right, Maria? She'd be like, ah, oh, well, don't test Predrito. Uh, <laughs> he spent a lot of time with the mailman. I'm afraid some of his DNA may have rubbed off. <laughs> and by the way, how are they able to do a DNA test in two hours? Like, it takes other services, like, six weeks. <laughs> you know, I see this and I'm like, forget 23 and me. Americans are just gonna start showing up at the border to get free tests. <laughs> Someone's just gonna be like, um, can you tell me, am I Irish or just an alcoholic? <laughs> and finally, in headlines, there are now more than 700 reported cases of measles in the United States, the most in 25 years. It's showed up in churches, schools, movie theaters, and now it's going on vacation. The cruise ship on the Caribbean island of St. Lucia is ordered to remain docked and quarantined. On the free winds, a vessel believed to be owned by the Church of Scientology, one confirmed case of measles, with nearly 300 aboard. Island doctors are worried the virus could spread to locals if anyone is allowed off the ship. We thought it prudent that we quarantine the ship. That's right. There's no way we're allowing these people to come on the island. It's like, why? Because they have measles? No, because they're Scientologists. <laughs> we didn't even know about the measles. <laughs> Nobody want these space Mormons running around our streets. <laughs> What's that? Somebody made it in already? Sound the alarms! <laughs> so, so, in case you're keeping count, thanks to anti-vaxxers, America now has 700 reported cases of measles in a country where it was eradicated. 700 cases, yeah. Which is one case for every Democrat running for president.